couldn't figure out what was I missed in a while. <laughs> when we do our videos, we haven't done one in a while. We missed you. When we do them, Betty slides her thumb in the back of belt. my jeans <laughs> so that she sits up straight. So every so often I get a little nail in my butt crack. I'm in your ass crack. <laughs> <laughs> the whole video. <laughs> Just so you know. <laughs> Fun for everyone. Oh. What? <laughs> exactly. So I thought today we'd talk about the question we got from a woman who's dealt with painful penetration and she's been working with the barbell mm -hmm. and your instructions. And so now she's gotten through the pain, she's feeling pleasurable, and now she's feeling like she's ready to make the transition to partner sex, a flesh dildo, in other words, a penis. <laughs> uh, you know what? She, it, she's just going to treat it like the dildo. In what way? Take a hold of it, however, and relax the PC muscle and put just the tip in and then grip and release just the same way. Puts it in a little further, squeeze and release while breathing. I mean, exactly. It is a dildo. It's a flesh dildo. And a little conversation before. Yes. But the Very guy, hot. Come on. The guy's going to love it. He doesn't Your penis mind. is going to be my dildo and I'm going to be in control. Yes. <laughs> you know, it was awesome. <laughs> I've wanted you to say that my whole life. life exactly. <laughs> Being on top definitely helps. Yes. But you can guide from any position. And the first time you do it, it's very intimidating and liberating. Both. Same because you're always like, you know, in equal parts when you're younger, you're always just waiting to feel something and just wait, you know, there and they're in control and you don't know when it's going to happen. And no. Yeah. Yeah. You know, but like <laughs> I've tried to think back. But now I must always guide the penis in because it's easier for me to guide than him because I'm the one. You know where your hole is. Oh, where my vagina is. Exactly. And with the labia and everything there, I'm all lubed up. It's just, it's just easier. Yeah. Yeah. Much easier for the woman to do it. And if you're on top, you can control the stroke. Which I always wanted to do. <laughs> yeah, of and course. they, once again, I never, ever had a man complain. No. About my wanting to be on no. top. It's like, oh, please do whatever you want. I mean, one of their complaints is that, what does she want? What does she want me to do? And sometimes you don't know. Like, what's great about being on top, you can experiment. Do the long stroke. Do the short little rapid stroke. Grind. Grind your pelvis. Do a little kind of hip circle when you're down there. See what feels good. Be in control. I, th I think it's absolutely delicious and that all women should definitely try it. And once you've tried it, and once your partner sees what it's like, he'll go with it every time. I never thought of it till just now when she's saying, how do I do this with penetration? Maybe you show him how you penetrate yourself with your barbell first. Warm up with the barbell, and then move into partner penetration. Yeah, warm up with the way that you're accustomed to. Yeah. And then move it. It's perfect. That's a very, that's a good idea. I'm, and then if yeah. and then if he because he might be nervous about how long he's gonna take and then afterwards if you still want more go back to the dildo go yeah. back to the barbell I love to have dildos around they enhance partner sex what we don't take advantage of guys listen to this <laughs> girls tell your boys uh, when he wants to last longer and he doesn't and he comes too soon you're back up and it's all over reach over for the dildo. And continue. No, stop. Do the dildo for her. I mean... Or take a break. You ejaculate. You want to keep going. Use the dildo. Then he can jump back in again. Yeah, because you can wait it's a few flexibility. minutes. And you got another erection in you. I mean, another... We all want to extend the lovemaking part. We don't want to have it... That, 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 boom, yeah. Over and out. No. It takes no. the pressure off. Come on. He doesn't have to maintain an erection the whole time. He's got his dildo there. We just produced a new clip. You haven't seen it yet for the My Orgasm series. And it's a lesbian couple. And they basically talk about their masturbation practice, their sex, and then they have sex. And what I took from the clip, it's super hot. We too see it. They used a strap on. 
And when she came over, the woman got the partner guided her through penetration, and then she said, "How do you like the stroke?" And there was so much communication back and forth. Uh, uh, uh. How to do the pen? How was the pen feeling? How do you like the stroke? And they changed it up several times. And I was thinking, you know, you never see a heterosexual couple do that, have that kind of communication. But if only we well, could do that. Remember, a lot of guys are fighting to maintain an erection. <laughs> First of all, to get one and then to maintain one. This is a big issue. I mean, the minute they go in the vagina, it's, oh, they <laughs> pop off. I'm home. <laughs> yeah, I'm done. <laughs> The woman should always control penetration. She is receiving, so he just allows her to handle the job. Now, if she's not doing it, he can suggest that she, honey, do you want to take over? I mean, I would appreciate it. Encourage her to handle penetration. But it's much better if the woman does the penetrating, okay?